hi everyone a uh, very good uh, evening and welcome back to geeks for geeks practice please give me a plus one in the chat if my voice is clearly audible to everyone and everything is working fine then i will start off with this problem as well uh, which is named as connect notes at the same level it has been previously asked in a lot of companies as well so all of you can give me a quick plus one in the chat and also chinmay has asked one question here that uh, I have been coding in C++ uh, for a while now, but it seems that Java is uh, more uh, in demand. Would it be a wise de uh, decision to brush up Java and start coding with Java? So I will say it in my that uh, what you can do is if you want to do Java, you can do Java as well. But if you like DSA in C++, then you can do uh, DSA in C++ only. If you want to shift to Java, then you can shift to Java as well. There is no problem with that. Okay. And... Uh, if you have any more questions regarding this, I can definitely answer them as well. Okay. So what does this problem first of all say? Like, let us say that we have this tree, right? Let's say that we have this tree. So previously, this particular problem has been asked in a lot of companies. You can see it has been asked in Flipkart, Amazon, Microsoft, OYO. I hope that the voice is clear, right? Let's say that we have this tree. Okay. So it has been asked in OYO, Oracle, Adobe, Google, a lot of companies. So let's quickly draw this tree first of all, uh, which is nothing but this one. Okay. So let's say we have this particular tree and then we have two here. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to connect the nodes at the same level. So basically not only you will be for a particular node, not only you will be having a left pointer and the right pointer, you will also be having the uh, next node pointer. Okay. So you'll be having a pointer on the same level also. Please write three in the chat. Okay. Not only you'll be having the left pointer, not only you'll be having the pointer to the right chain, also you'll be having the pointer on the next level also. Okay. Is that clear? pointed to the next node on the same level. So this is the scenario. So basically for this node, there is nothing in the next part, right? So that is why it will be updated to null. Then for this three, it will be updated to what? Uh, it will be updated to this five and this five has nothing after it. So it will be updated to null. Similarly, this four will be updated to one and this one will be updated to this two and this two will be now updated to null. Okay. So what we have to do is, is we have to connect the nodes on the same level. Is this problem requirement clear what we have to do, guys? Is it clear? Is it clear, guys? The requirement of the problem is clear to everyone. If everyone is clear with this requirement, please hit the like button and give me a plus one in the chat. Okay. Is it clear to all of us? Uh, just let me know. I'm waiting. Okay. So when I think about this, right? When I think about an algorithm on a tree, so I have to apply this algorithm on the trees, right? So which algorithm comes to my mind when I think about the level, same level? Can I say that level order traversal comes to our mind, right? We have to traverse this tree, okay? And we have to traverse it using the level order traversal, right? So what we have to do is we have to do the level order traversal. When we will do the level order traversal of this particular given tree, okay? Then we will be using which approach? We'll be using the BFS algorithm, okay? So what we can do is we can use the BFS algorithm and we can try to solve this problem. Is that clear to everyone till now? Guys, please hit the like button and give me a plus one. Is this part clear to everyone? So what we have to do is, in order to solve this particular problem, we need to use the BFS algorithm. Please write BFS in the chat, plus one in the chat, as an acknowledgement if you are clear till now. Does that make some sense for everyone? Guys? Okay, so it does make some sense for everybody. Right, so what I will be doing initially is, like, we'll be having a BFS call. So first of all, like, what you can do here is, you can simply have a queue, let's say queue, uh, something like uh, it will be storing the node. So let's say Q uh, node start. Let's say na let's name it as Q. Okay. So initially I'll be having this Q, and what I will push is I will inside this Q if you will observe. So what I'll push it, I'll initially push the root node. Okay. Then I will be starting off with the BFS. So what I will do is I'll say that okay, while the B uh, while the Q is not empty. Okay. So while the Q size let's say is greater than zero, you can also write while not of q.mp. So while the q is having some nodes, till that point of time, I'll be iterating. And let us understand some intermediate situation, how the flow of the algorithm will be. Okay. So what will happen is, if you will observe one thing, right, if you will observe one thing, so the q, like the BFS will be running, but in which manner, right? So if you will observe, if you will observe one thing, guys, like if you will observe, let's say this is my current node. Okay. Let's say this is my current guy. Okay. And this is, this is, this will be the previous node, right? So what I want, I want this kind of relationship let's say if i'm at the current node let's say current node is this so previous i should always store the previous node of the current node right for every iteration i should think that okay or in every level for every current node on every level 
for every current node i should store the previous also why because the the relationship will be like this now for the previous next uh, like you have this uh, right next uh, right now next to the right so you will see that previous next right pointer okay will get updated to the current pointer is that clear so that is how this previous will point to this guy is that clear to everyone guys please tell me this point is clear like what we are trying to do in terms of uh, in terms of uh, marking the connections is that clear we want the previous next right to point to the current on the same level okay so we need to have a previous and the current also this part is also clear the skeleton must be clear that what we are trying to do then i will run this algorithm for you all also okay so what will happen here is basically what will happen here is if let's say you are at a particular intermediate stage so let's say initially what will happen initially you will be having a queue data structure with yourself right and you will be pushing what you will be pushing the queue uh, the root node so you will push 10 okay now how many nodes are there only this many only one node is there right so what is the size the size is only one now what is the size telling me the size will tell me the number of nodes present at that particular level right the it, since the current size of the queue is one okay so it is telling me the number of nodes present at this level right so initially this previous its previous will also be marked as null and you can observe that i will simply take this guy out okay i'll take this node 10 out and obviously its next will be nothing but null right and it is having what it is having this child and this child right and you can observe that after that the size will obviously become zero when i will pull this off and then i will push the node 3 and 5 inside the queue right once i have pushed the node 3 and 5 inside the queue then i'll be having a previous right so like for this when this is the current node okay let's say 3 is the current node so i will see the size like if the size becomes zero so i'll update my size so the size of the queue now is nothing but 2 so it is indicating that okay currently there are two nodes on this particular level guys is that clear it will indicate nothing but the number of nodes currently present at this particular level please hit the like button if you are clear with this right is that clear guys uh, till now i am not receiving responses as of now are you getting it so see basically what will happen if this is the current node so initially the previous will be what previous will be null okay and if the previous is null then the previous next will not be updated right if the previous is not null only then it will be updated so after this part is done right so i will take this three out okay and the size will decrease by one so it will become one then what will happen then after that before leaving the current node will become the previous node so this will now behave like the previous node and this will be the current node okay and then what will happen here is then i will say that okay previous uh, next right is equal to 5 okay so previous next right pointer will be uh, equal to the current okay and once that is done then i will update the previous node to the current so now this will be the previous node okay and then i will move forward so is that clear and then this will be also be marked as null and this will be taken out of the queue so basically out like what will happen when 5 was there then 4 was also pushed uh, because four, 3 child was what 4 and 1 so 4 will be pushed 1 will be pushed and then when 5 is taken out then the size again becomes 0 right and after 5 is taken out so you push 2 also so again there is th there are 3 nodes right when you will take the size of the queue again so how many nodes are there there are total 3 nodes here right so again the same process will happen so the 3 size is telling you about the number of nodes present on this particular level is that clear to everyone guys please tell me uh, and please hit the like button if everyone is clear till now. Does it make some sense, guys? If it does make some sense, please hit the like button. So the size will always, like whenever the size becomes zero, then you again take the size. And the size tells you about the number of nodes present at the current level. Is that clear? The size, this size variable is always telling you about the number of nodes present at the current level. Okay. So what we can do here, we can basically say that, okay, let's take out the size. So uh, size will be what? Size will be nothing but let's say q dot size. So I'll take out the size of the queue, right? And after taking the size of the queue, I'll also have a node star previous variable. Okay, it initially it will be marked as null because there will be nothing in the previous. Can you explain what we do for the rightmost again? So basically, it will be marked as null only. Now that is what I'm saying. Okay. So what I will do here is I'll simply say that okay, int uh, i starts from one. Okay, i is lesser than equal to size c. When you are when you hit the size now, if you will observe. So what, what we are doing, if you will observe, so initially the size is like, see, initially when you are doing, so let's say you are running a loop from one to three. Okay. So initially for this guy, your count is one. Okay. Then for this guy, your count will be two. Then for this guy, the count is three. So when your count, when your count is equal to the size, okay. When your IE variable, let's say you are running a loop. So this is one, this is two, this is three. So when your count is equal to do the size, then for that node, you, that, then for that current node, you can mark its next as null. Na? That is what I'm saying. Does it make some sense for you, Rishit, and other people also? 
Is that clear, guys, or not? Please tell me. Right. So what I will do is I'll run for the all the nodes on this particular level. So I will run till less or equal to size, and then I will do i plus plus. Okay. After this part is done, so what we will do is we'll say that okay, let's let's take out the current node. So current will be nothing but what q dot front. So I'll take out the front node, and then I'll simply pop the front node out of the queue. Once I have popped out the front node, so what I will do is if it happens that the previous node is not equal to null. Okay. So if it is not the very first node, in that case, what will I do? I'll say that okay. uh previous uh previous uh this pointer next right pointer so i'll copy this next right so previous next right pointer that is the next node on the same level will be updated to the current okay that is what we will be doing is it is this part clear please give me a plus one guys if initially the previous will be null but after some time the previous will get updated so if it happens that the previous is not null then the previous right pointer will be updated to the current pointer is that clear to all of us guys i hope that this point is clear then after this what you will do is you will update the previous to the current node okay and then what we will do is we will say that okay if the current uh, uh, current's left child okay if the current's left child is not equal to null right so in that case what you will do is if it is not null then you will store it so you will say that okay let's push the uh, current's uh, left child into the queue make sense and similarly what we will do is if it happens that the current's right child is not equal to null in that case what you will do is you will simply push push the currents right child okay that is what we will do and also i can say that okay let's say if it happens that i is equal equal to the size right so if i am at the last node so i will say that okay for the for the last node i will say that okay currents next right pointer will be updated to nothing but null is that clear rishit to you does this point make sense that when i am at the last node so let's say if i am having these nodes right so for this i will be equal to 1 for this i will be equal to 2 for this i will be equal to 3 so for the last node what i can do is uh, i can simply mark its uh, next right node as null na when i is equal to size so that will be the last node is it clear rishit and everyone else as well guys does it make some sense for everybody what i am trying to do for the last step let's try and compile it and see what will happen i hope that this point was clear so we are getting the same expected output also Let's try and uh, submit this code and see if it works or not. I hope it will get accepted. Yeah, so it does get accepted. So is this point clear? Basically, what we are doing is for the last uh, guy, for the last node on this level. So when i value is equal to the size, because you are running a loop from i is equal to one till the number of nodes present on this particular current level. So for the last node, what you can say is current uh, right next right is equal to null. Nah. right so it's it's very basic to be honest it was not that difficult is it clear to everyone else as well uh, guys if all of you are clear then please hit the like button okay i think the attendance is pretty low today uh, please hit the like button and give me a plus one guys is everyone clear is chit bhai clear with this example is rag yadav clear uh, other people are also clear or not uh, please let me know talking about the time complexity of our approach so the time complexity will be what in the worst case it can be order of n only because let's say if it is a skewed tree then you will be having order of n nodes right and uh, what will be the space complexity again it is going to be order of n in the worst case but these are the worst cases only right so you can see here also same thing is given is that clear okay so pandu guys also saying clear right great so let, give me a second i'll just copy the link of this code also uh let's generate it okay understood everyone let's generate the link also okay let me share it with everyone all right so i think it is shared by me okay great so guys uh, please make sure to hit the like button if you have understood till now right if you have understood the problem till now so please make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already okay and is there any doubt i think that everyone is clear with this problem so basically you had to iterate for all the nodes on this particular level and uh if the previous was not null so if it was available then in that case for the previous next right you will mark it as current and then you will update the previous uh, current node as the previous node because the 
uh, current will become the previous okay and if the current's left child exists then you will push it inside the queue if the right child exists then you will push it and if you are at the last node of the current level in that case it's uh, it's it's next uh, on the same level will be marked as null that is what i have done okay so this was it for today's problem of the day thank you for joining and if in case if you have any doubts you can put that in the comments i'll be answering them if you understood this properly so you can write understood in the chat as well thank you everyone and i'll see you with on another uh, with another problem of the day on friday thanks a lot keep coding guys <laughs>